Hey, what's up? Pole Pole as well. It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. And so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a budget device that you could pick up for a very low cost in the Samsung Galaxy A series lineup. And so this is going to be one of the lower tier of devices that's going to offer you some pretty solid basic features at a price point of around $100. But make sure you guys stay locked in to the end of the video because we're going to be talking about the battery as well as the cameras and the overall design as well as the performance. And so this device is going to be in the hands of many people who are looking to save the dollar and, you know, kind of just budget their money, but still be in the lookout for some pretty premium features at a low cost when it comes to this smartphone. So one of the main th things about this smartphone is you're going to get a huge 6.7 inch 1080 by 2400 panel. So it's a PLS LCD 90 hertz panel, which is actually pretty decent to look at that 20 by 9 ratio and 393 pixels per inch. Decent photos on the 13 megapixel on the front, and you're also going to be recording in 1080p um, with 30 frames or 60 frames per second. On the rear, you're going to be able to get 60 frames per second, 1080 as well. And hey, what's up? Let me know what you guys think about the microphones on the Samsung Galaxy Zero 5 S. Let me know what you guys think about the microphones right now. And I'm actually in an outdoor environment and it's a little bit windy. So let me know what you guys think about the overall camera quality on the front facing camera, which is going to go up to 1080 60 frames per second. So let me know what you guys think about the overall um, quality on the video right now. Okay. Now, when it comes to the graphics and the gaming on the Samsung Galaxy A05S, I wouldn't classify it as a certified gaming phone, but for the price, it's actually pretty good. It's able to play games like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, Asphalt 9 with the Snapdragon 684G. It's actually pretty capable and it has four gigabytes of RAM with RAM boost up to four gigabytes of RAM as well. So you're gonna be able to get through some gaming on here and you won't have to worry about any lags or stutters or hiccups. Now this phone has a plastic frame and a plastic back, but the materials on here feel really quality. Uh, it definitely has a nice decent material to it even though it's plastic it definitely has a solid build feels really good in the hand and it's coming in at a weight of 194 grams which actually feels pretty solid so i definitely think this device does feel pretty good for the price so i think this device has a little bit of something for everybody especially if you're trying to save some money so one of the features that they did allow you to have on here is nfc so you can do your mobile payments on here it also does have that dolby atmos as well and also the gaming mode which is going to be good for you know like you know playing games on there and optimizing your performance you also do get the pop-up view on here which is going to help with multitasking so you could definitely use multiple apps at one time and still be able to you know get a lot of stuff done while simultaneously doing other stuff on top of it so that's going to be a solid feature especially if you want to multitask and get a lot of work done it's definitely going to be good for this device especially when it comes to the ram because this device will be able to handle it with apps running in the background with the four gigabytes of ram plus the additional four gigabytes of ram boosted storage on here as far as the display that's probably one of the best things about it it has a huge display which actually in my opinion looks pretty good for the amount of detail that you're getting the 393 pixels per inch stands out. You also do get that 90 hertz refresh rate as well. Uh, you know, it's going to have some very, very punchy colors, crispy, um, you know, um, quality running on the display. So, you know, it's not going to be like a high resolution display, but it does give you full HD plus. But listen to the speakers and let me know what you think about the quality. Now you won't get features like sidebar on this device and you know smart view which will kind of give you a more you know 
personalized experience. The smart view on other Samsung devices allows you to share your smartphone to your smart TV where this one doesn't have that feature. And then, you know, you also are missing, you know, facial recognition on this device as well. So there's a couple of things that this device did, you know, um, skip out on, but for the most part, it does carry everything that you need for the most part to run, you know, some pretty good performance at an everyday um, use usage. And so you're going to get good performance out of this device, especially for the price. It can run social media apps very cleanly and efficiently. So you have complete freedom of communicating on this device through many different platforms. And because this device was actually released on Android 13, it's got Android 14 update right now, and it's promised one more update, which is the Android 15 update. So the haptic feedback on here felt really good when I was typing on the keyboard. I definitely think it's going to be good when it comes to OS updates with the two years of updates, especially for the price. And then you're going to get support for security patches as well, up to like three or four years, which is also going to be awesome. So yeah, um, I definitely think this device falls into a perfect spot where you're still going to get those updates. You're still going to get some of the good things about it, like the charging speeds and the battery, as well as some good cameras that can hold up well in, you know, many different environments. And the sound quality on the speaker is also going to be good, even though it's only a single single fire speaker. They did omit, you know, facial recognition as well. But let me know what you guys think about the cameras on the rear here. Yo, what's up? So this is the Samsung Galaxy Z05 S. Let me know what you guys think about the rear camera recording at 60 frames per second and 1080. So just to give you an idea what it looks like on the camera right now, and I'm talking through the microphones directly, so you should be able to hear it pretty clearly. And it should be pretty high quality right now, but this is the sunset. And so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'll zoom in just a little bit. <laughs> so that's 2.5. And it looks like it's gonna go all the way up to, let's see, 10 times zoom right here. So you can get up to 10 times zoom. What do you guys think about the quality of the camera as well as the microphones on this Samsung Galaxy? A05S. I'm just recording real quick from the rear camera, recording in 1080, 60 frames per second, so you can get an idea of how it looks when you're holding the camera while walking. And then I'm gonna do a slow pan so you can kind of see what it looks like when I'm not walking. Yo, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Z05, A05S. Let me know what you guys think about the, the quality of the video when I'm actually riding a bike. So it should be a little stable, but just to give you an idea what it looks like as far as being able to, you know, um, maybe handle some of the stabilization a little bit because I'm not actually walking just kind of gliding so it should give, give you a better idea of how the camera quality is going to be when it comes to uh, not really the stabilization features on here but just the overall quality coming out of the rear facing camera. Okay, so what's the real reason for the Samsung Galaxy A05S existence? In my opinion, I definitely think it comes down to the bare essentials of embracing with the actual, 
you know average smartphone user will need and that comes down to a fast charging long lasting battery with smooth fast performance on the processing chip you're going to get high quality cameras as well and a stylish design which also brings out the you know um you know personality of the device as well so you get a variety of different colors to choose from green black silver purple and you kind of just you know are left with the bare essentials that you're going to need um, to function on a daily basis you're going to be able to capture some good moments with the camera you're going to be able to basically equip yourself with a pretty decent and adequate performance with the snapdragon processing chip on here which i think is cool because it's optimized very well for this smartphone when it comes to battery life and overall performance and then a strong battery life at with the 5000 milliamp per hour battery on this device which charges up at 25 watts fast charging speed which is going to definitely be pretty impressive and then you get your side mode fingerprint sensor as well, uh, you know, expandable storage, a headphone jack, as well as, you know, smart switch when you why um, software on here, as well as some good updates for the next couple of years. But let me know what you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy A05S in the comment section. If you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I'll hit you back. I'll check you guys later. Later group. Peace.